Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss the ultimate crypto tax guide. Let's get right into it. You may be in for a harsh revelation this tax season if you bought in cryptocurrency last year. Yes, you must pay taxes on your Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. For tax reasons, the IRS considers cryptocurrency holdings to be property, which means your virtual currency is taxed similarly to any other assets you own, such as stocks or gold. And the tax season just started on January 24th, 2022. When you'll owe taxes on cryptocurrency. Because virtual currencies are considered property by the IRS, their taxable value is determined by capital gains or losses. In other words, how much value your assets acquired or lost over time. The capital gain or loss, the difference between the amount you spent when you acquired or got the cryptocurrency and the amount you make when you'll sell it, is what you'll record on your tax return. In general, if you bought $100 worth of Bitcoin and sold it for $500, you'd make $400 profit. If the value of your Bitcoin dropped during that period, you'd suffer a capital loss. You can deduct up to $3,000 from your taxable income if your losses exceed your gains. The length of time you've had the cryptocurrency is also a factor. A long-term capital gain would be considered if you held on to a unit of Bitcoin for more than a year. It's a short-term gain if you acquired and sold it within a year. These distinctions may have an impact on the tax rate that is imposed. The tax rate varies depending on your total taxable income and you may only deduct a certain amount in capital losses if your crypto asset loses value. Track your activity. One of the most essential things to keep in mind when you begin trading in cryptocurrencies is that it is your obligation to maintain track of any potentially taxable transactions, as well as the fair market value of your Bitcoin during those operations. The IRS only provides general guidance on the records you'll need to keep for tax reporting purposes, stating that they should be sufficient to establish the positions taken on tax returns. Records of any time you receive, sell or exchange virtual currency, as well as the fair market value of your virtual currency, are among the examples given. Some exchanges may send you a form, 1099B, to assist you to figure out your profits and losses, although this is rare. Finally, you're in charge of keeping track of your taxable activities and their fair market value of your currency. That won't be the case for the 2023 tax year, according to projections. Brokers called Bitcoin exchanges are required to send a 1099B under a clause of the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure plan signed into law by President Biden last November. In other words, crypto exchanges will be compelled to report crypto transactions to the IRS immediately. It's usually simple to track or produce information about your transactions if you keep your virtual currency in your account on the exchange where you bought it. However, if you transfer your cryptocurrency between private wallets or have it in numerous locations, you'll need to be more cautious about keeping track of it. You may utilize crypto-focused tax software applications to make the procedure easier. The program will create the cost basis for your trades and assist you to assess your capital gains and losses if you enter data on all of your crypto trades or earnings across all exchanges you've used. CoinTracker, TokenTax, CryptoTrader.tax and others are compatible with traditional tax software like TurboTax or TaxAct, allowing you to quickly import the profits and losses they report to your tax return. How to prepare your tax season when you have crypto. Start preparing ahead now to make your crypto-related tax file as simple as possible. Even if that's how you usually approach tax season, don't wait too long to start compiling your records and calculating what you owe. If you're just getting started with Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency and just have a few transactions with proper cost basis reporting, you might be able to declare your crypto profits using your standard tax software, so these people don't really need a CPA. But if you're somebody dealing with large amounts of money, you're making DeFi transactions, staking or mining operations, those people will want to have a CPA to sit down and do tax planning and tax saving strategies. Consider working with a professional. Consider working with a tax expert who has experience reading tax codes connected to virtual currencies even if you aren't doing intricate crypto operations and only have questions about your individual tax liability or aren't sure whether you're reporting appropriately. The IRS and other agencies are unable to provide guidance on every circumstance that a taxpayer may face and there are several gaps in present guidance. That's why, according to Chandra Sikera, it's critical to hire a tax expert who is up to date on IRS regulations and has experience reporting Bitcoin earnings and losses. Ask potential tax advisors whether they possess any virtual currency and if they are aware of the tax code's ambiguities. There are some grey areas and that's where CPAs need to come in and say, OK, we don't have direct guidance from the IRS, but when they set up the guidance, this was the intention. 
Chandra Sikera says, As CPAs, we should be able to use our experience and our overall knowledge about the tax code and apply those rules to the unique cases that we see. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.